quick update game. We, uh, it's about it's about nine o'clock. Uh, we just played we played Red Reserve uh, round four. So if you don't know, it's Pac-Man, Swarly, Llama, and uh, Pac-Man, Swarly, Llama, and Parasite. Chris is someone I know, I know I know him decently well, so I mean it was a good game. Uh, we played Throwback Hardpoint. Uh, we ended up taking it 250 to 212. It was back and forth a lot. They had some leads. We had some leads. But in the end, we, you know, I, I played really well. Everybody as a team, everybody on the fucking team played really well. And, you know, we went to Retaliation S and D. Won the very first round, very first round, uh, and then we lost five straight. And it was kind of rough. But as a team, we, you know, we said, all right, let's win these rounds. They got streaks. They still didn't win. My teammates, Kyle especially, like just, just all three of them, Chase, Joe, everybody did well. And you know, honestly, guys, it, I don't know. Like. It, you know, it's a team game. You know, arguably it could be anybody, but like, I, I'm, I'm genuinely gonna say, like, I feel like that was me. Like, I lost us that game. I did really well on the hard point. I was definitely a big part of why we did well. I, de I had a couple moments in S and D, but nothing crazy. But the, the bad moments overshadowed them. And now, yeah, I sound, you know, a little sad, a little depressed, whatever. I, I'm definitely gonna bounce back tomorrow. I don't think we're out of it at all. If anything, that showed me what we, what we're capable of. And it's tough. It's tough to lose like that. Because we had them in the palm of our hands, went 5-5 five, five again, got got the first kill, and ended up losing the 3v4. I'm not going to talk about specific plays, just a couple, probably like three plays I can think of that I really just, I could have made differently. If I would have made those differently, I mean, we potentially would have won like 6-3, or like we could have just so many different outcomes, but guaranteed like a couple of those plays could have, like literally would have won rounds. One of those plays would have 100% won around. the other play would have put me in like a 90% opportunity to win around, but one thing I want to talk about now is uh, like I think it's important for me to feel bad, even feel a little bad for myself, even though, but like mainly I feel bad for them, like my the, you know my teammates that I let down, and I just think it's important. Like I'll definitely bounce back tomorrow, positive mindset, positive attitude, etc. But I think it's important right now for me to me to feel that way, and uh, you know kind of you know use that to drive me for tomorrow. I, I gotta work on S and D. We worked on it a lot as a team. They played it really well. I mean, kind of the role I play a lot of the time, I'm not in a lot of action. I got to hold stuff down. But when I get in those, you know, when I get in those plays, I got to, I got to capitalize. I got to know what to do. It's tough. It's tough. It really is tough to lose like that. You know, a new team, you know, playing Red Reserve, they've been a team for a little while now. Um, they had a roster change. They ended up dropping Exotic after Vegas, you know, picked up Pac-Man. A good team, but you know, in, in you know, no, no offense intended, no honestly, like, you know, we should have won that. Even even you know, Chris, Chris had said that, and uh, you know, I, I it's tough. The uplink, and then we, I didn't talk about the uplink yet, but we did play Priest in Cup League third map. We lost five to ten. It's about five six. They ended up getting two dunks and finishing us off with one. Very, very back and forth game. We you know, we got some dunks and some ones. They got some dunks and some ones. Honestly, like, we both played better on the least favorable side, I'd say, like, both teams, but, you know, it is what it is. We played it slow, and we made some mistakes, obviously, that's why we lost, but I, uh, you know, I, I've had, you know, I, why I keep playing, like, why I've continued to play, why I've quit, or not quit, yeah, pro, um, excuse me, is because I've always felt like it wasn't me as the problem, and that, you know, that right there is, is a huge blow, because I don't, I don't think I can ever confidently say, wow, like, I was the sole reason we didn't get that. Like, obviously, yeah, they could have did more. You know, there was times where everybody made mistakes, literally split-second mistakes. You know, we played it so well. We stayed composed. We brought it back 5-5. Five, five. Kyle got one kill right off the rip, and I was like, all right, we have this. Chase has kinetic. We got this. I told Chase to go somewhere. It worked out, but I, I could have picked up the flank. I could have left Chase where he was. Just, just a lot of, like, I'm not going to get specific because, I mean, I can sit here and talk all day about all the different scenarios, but, like, it, it just sucks to lose like that, guys. And like, what I what I like, I want to make this video while I'm still in that mood. Like, well, I mean, the, the match is over probably like for 30 minutes now. And I walked around a little bit, thought about it, uh, talked to talked to some people I know other than the team. I don't know where the team took off to. I'm about to go find them now. I hope I, don't know, I hope you know they can forgive me and we can just bounce back tomorrow. And I, I mean, I, I think that they will. And I mean, I I just have never been in this kind of situation. I've, I, you know, I've lost games. But I've never felt like, wow, like, okay, that was me. Like, I've always either felt like it was someone else or we lost as a team. But, like, you know, they're going to say the same thing to me. I know they will because that's the kind of guys they are and they want to improve. But, I mean, just one thing I want to talk about, guys, is, like, or another thing I want to talk about, guys, is, like, just the how well we played for, like, I've never played with any of those players before in a team setting. I've never been on a team with them. We 
put our team together, we progressed a lot, a lot over time. And we played so well in tournaments where I think Hardpoint's our best game mode. I think Uplink's probably our, probably our weakest. I think it depends on the map. But, you know, we definitely gotta, we gotta, definitely gotta work on some Uplink stuff. But S&D, like me as an individual, I need to find some sort of rhythm, some sort of, you know, something I, I, I got to figure it out. Joe was making play calls, great play calls. You know, he was really direct in that. I really liked how he stepped up there because, like, he knows S&D is my strong suit. You know, I'm very good at knowing what to do in hardpoint, knowing what to do in uplink because I feel, like you know, like, you spawn, and like, they die and they spawn up again, and I can predict where they're going to be because I know where they're going to be. Not even predict, I know where they're going to be. So, yeah, I have a better, you know, prediction kind of possibility but like s and is like they spawn up and they can get anywhere just like you got you know play lanes call crosses and you know, do what you can but like it was just it was just unfortunate you know it's not it's not easy to lose like that you know it's never never easy to lose like that and you know i just one thing i, I want to talk about and i'm going to talk about it tomorrow hopefully i'll get to do a video in the morning before we start is bouncing back because i mean just because we lost yeah i mean close series happen all the time and it was my fault, but I mean, I still got another run tomorrow. I still got, you know, I still got a lot in me. You know, I practice really hard for this tournament. Everybody has a bad map here and there. And it really, like, as a whole, it wasn't all that bad. Did my teammates definitely lead the way? Yeah, but, like, the role I play doesn't really, you know, I'm not really initialing a lot of stuff. I held a lot of positions I needed to. I did a lot of stuff I needed to. But just, like, small, split-second decisions, like, I've never had a situation. I've been the one usually who clutches up and who makes those plays but this one time. And, I, and, you know, I don't think it was I don't think it was any sort of emotion or anything that was bothering me. It just, you know, it just happened that way. And that's what i got to remember and i got to tell myself tonight. You know, Call of Duty happens. You know, Call of Duty happens. Like, it's, it's unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes that stuff, just that stuff happens that way. And, I, you know, I really, I really got to bounce back tomorrow. You know, I'm kind of already losing my voice a little bit. I got to get some water, get some food in me, but... I'm going to sign off here, guys. I appreciate if you watched the video. If you liked the video, make sure to like it. And uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be back soon with videos and everything else. And, and hopefully I'll have another update video kind of uh, progressing along you know, as, the, as the tournament goes on. I'm not really going to walk around and vlog, but I'm definitely going to do these uh, do these little like kind of inside my mind videos uh, from the event. But I appreciate everyone for watching. Have a good day, guys.